Hi there, I am Mrs. Green and welcome to Mrs. Green's World. Thank you so much for being a part of this today. Are you ready to get your green on for a healthier planet and a healthier you? I'm going to do something a little bit gross, but it'll get the point and I wanna be protected because I wanna be healthy. Okay, so here we go, let's get ready. Gotta put the gloves on, notice they're green, okay? Good visual here, we got the gloves on, we got the, okay, so I want you to see this. What we have here are insecticides, herbicides, and pesticides, and then we're taking what you might think to be your regular celery, okay, we gotta spray it really well, spray it on the inside, spray it on the bottom. Alrighty then, I think we're clear. I wanna ask you, would you like to take a bite out of that now? Does that like make you just wanna take some crunchy celery? Okay, so you get the point. Most celery has anywhere from 15 to 17 pesticides, herbicides, or insecticides on it, in it, or around it. It would take an hour long YouTube video, but you get it. There is something called the Dirty Dozen. And it's a list of fruits and vegetables that you should buy organic no matter what. And a list of good news, and that's called the Clean 15, and they are things that you don't have to worry about. So let me tell you a little bit about celery, because I know that was really a gross graphic. Some 95% of all celery samples tested positive for pesticides, followed by imported cucumbers and Potatoes, I'm Irish, not so good, okay? Makes me really sad. Nearly 85% of celery samples contain multiple pesticides, followed by sweet bell peppers, 61%, and collard greens, not such a problem for me, 53.2%. A single celery, which I assume they mean a stalk, was contaminated, contaminated with 13 different chemicals followed by kale, not so much of a problem for me, and collard greens, domestic green beans, spinach, and lettuce. Celery had been treated with as many as 67 pesticides. These are scientific tests that all they do is take the celery and they check and see how much it is, followed by sweet bell peppers and again kale. So what's wrong with eating things on the dirty dozen list, okay? you know, maybe your body is not a bug, so it doesn't matter. Well, the United States government and intergovernmental agent, international governmental agencies acknowledge that different pesticides have been linked to a variety of health problems. And remember in the beginning I said, this is about your health and the health of the planet. Some of the things that have been identified by having this sprayed so lavishly on our food, nervous system toxicity, cancer, I'm so sure about that one. Hormone system effects, skin, eye, and lung irritation, which is why I protected myself, okay? So those are just a few that are listed by the government. People ask me, can you wash or peel these toxins off? Nope, it really doesn't help. Lots of them come up through the roots and there's really nothing you could do. You might say, so should I stop eating fruits and vegetables? Of course not, but I would think the next time that you're going to buy a stalk of celery, uh, you might think a little bit about going organic and fitting that one into the budget. The next biggest offender on the dirty dozen list, peaches. I bought this peach in January. Peaches are not really blooming. They're not in abundance here in Tucson, Arizona. Okay, so here's my pitch. A really, 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 that's three big reallys. Hope that you will take the time to visit the Environmental Working Group's website and educate yourself. It might make you a little sick at first, like it did me, but trust me, not only will you get over it, you'll thank me. You'll say, what was that name again? Mrs. Green, I thank her. I so hope that you are ready to look at the Dirty Dozen, look at the Clean 15 onions and avocado, and get ready to join Mrs. Green and get your green on by eating healthy.